Hey everyone, Razor here. Uh, as you can see in this pic right here, I am getting ready to work on my mill. Uh, I've got a couple of issues with it. You can see my quill sticking out the top of the, the head right there. Right there. That's as far as my quill will retract back into the head. The reason why, uh, from what I can understand or what I can determine, is that the, uh, what do they call it, uh, the skirt, they call it the skirt that's inside there that's supposed to keep this hole in the front of the housing closed up so no chips fall in there. Well, mine apparently got bunged up some kind of a way and it is cockeyed in my housing and it won't allow me to retract my quill all the way back down inside. So after speaking with a few people that know how to work on these things, I mean, I've taken two of these apart and I have a really good understanding, but this is my first variable speed. So I'm a little cautious, let's just say. Uh, so I'm just uh, thinking about it and thinking about it and saying to myself, everybody's telling me to pull the head off from the top and go ahead and access everything from the top. And because I have limited space here in my shop, I don't have means to rig up, uh, you know, come along or anything like that above this because of my ceiling height here in my shop is a little bit too low in order for me to do that. So again, I'm thinking and thinking, okay, well, if they're saying that I can access it through the top then why can't I access it through the bottom so that's what I am attempting to do as you can see I got the vise and everything off the table uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some dunnage underneath there dunnage underneath here and underneath the motor that sits right down on the knee down here and dunnage by the way for those that don't know is a um, is a term that we use in the iron workers for wood so uh, I don't know where that originated from or anything, but that's what it means. So anyway, that being said, I'm going to attempt to go ahead and pull this thing apart. Let me uh, get over here and kind of give you a, a what I'm going to do thing here. Everybody's saying that if I take, there's three bolts, there's one, two, and there's three right back here that if I take these loose this will if it was turned upside down basically lift the whole assembly off of the housing so why can't I do that in reverse so I'm still taking these three bolts and I'm gonna go ahead and block this up um, I've got some wood here some 4x4s that I'm gonna go out and grab some you know actually some 4x6s to put on here and down here and go ahead and, and brace this thing up and then when, once I take these bolts loose all I need to do is drop the table and it'll separate this and that's what everybody's telling me that I need to do because the problem is right here that the, the skirt lies right here in this opening that when you you know uh, move the quill up and down or in and out of the housing this skirt that's inside here is supposed to keep this opening closed. And like I said, for some reason it's cockeyed or it's come loose or I don't know, some friggin' thing that won't allow me to retract my quill. So it's it's really frustrating to say the least. Um, everything else on the machine is absolutely perfect. You know, I mean, being a used machine, um, it's really in good shape. So I, I really can't complain, but this is nonetheless gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with. So. Uh, the other issue that I found is that uh, there's a spider that sits inside the column here that holds the turret onto the column. To, you know, once you get it set to whatever angle you need it at, you lock these four bolts down, one, two, and then there's two on the other side that lock the turret down. Well, my spider is broken. And uh, I actually have a new one. That is right here. Here is my new spider. And uh, 
So I've discovered that one of these holes that the bolts go through, uh, I have the piece around here somewhere, but this damn thing, it broke. It literally broke the casting. So somebody reefed on this thing like no, no tomorrow and busted this thing. So instead of trying to fix it and, and all that stuff, I just bought a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, once I get the this motor housing separated from the, uh, the quill housing, I'm going to go ahead and then take the uh, the quill housing off completely and uh, leave this sitting on them on the knee and then I'm going to go ahead and rig up some overhead stuff here to remove the, the ram with the knuckle on it um, and then um, once I get this out of the way set it down here on the floor some kind of a way I'll figure out something then I can go ahead and remove the turret and then access my spider to go ahead and put this whole thing back together. And once I get these few things accomplished, uh, I will then have my mill 100% ready to go, fully operational, everything should be hunky-dory. So uh, that being said, I'm not gonna sit here and run the camera to show you guys all this stuff, uh, basically because I still need to learn how to edit all that stuff. Um, so. I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, do intermediate, intermediate uh, shots and videos of the process. So that way you guys can kind of see what's going on just the same. And uh, it, the bottom line is uh, it'll make my video that much shorter. Uh, you guys can see basically for those that don't know that haven't been in one of these before, kind of what's going on. I'll bring the camera over and take uh, pictures or take small video and uh, just give you a, you know, a once over as to what's going on. So, uh, fortunately my worm gear and everything is still intact um, to allow me to drop this thing over and again, for those that don't know, for me that was, that is very nerve wracking because this friggin' thing is heavy. I don't know how heavy, but it is heavy. And relying on that, on the worm gear and the, and the, uh, um, what do they call it? The sprocket, I guess, or something. Uh, the ring gear, the worm and the ring. Uh, that's a lot of weight to be supporting, you know, this this whole friggin' massive conglomerate. Uh, but it works. Uh, somebody did some serious engineering on that one, and uh, it works. So, uh, again, you know, you just don't crank on it and just, you know, let it go. You have to be careful and move things very slowly, slowly and cautiously. Uh, so nothing happens and uh, you don't get hurt or something like that. So uh, my other option was to just go ahead and take the mill completely outside and hook up my tractor to this thing and pull the parts off of my tractor. It would ultimately be easier for me to do that, but I don't feel like dragging this thing back out of the shop. It was a friggin' project getting it in here to begin with. And when you're by yourself, you just got to kind of, you know, weigh the the circumstances and try to make the best decision based on that. So here we are. This is what we're going to do. Uh, another wonderful day out here at Razor Works. So uh, that being said, I'm going to shut up and get busy and you guys can uh, follow along and appreciate all the support, all the comments. Uh, you guys posted a bunch of comments on my bash experience and uh, appreciate it. Uh, you guys are absolutely wonderful out there. and. I couldn't ask for better friends and, and buddies, so uh, uh, I'm going to get busy. So you guys uh, be careful out there, be kind to one another, and uh, let's get to work. So I'll be back in a little bit and sh let you guys in on what's happening. Okay, take care.